Now, let me give these guys a little introduction. These guys, Darius and Tiny, who I'm talking about, are master A-logs. These guys watch and review so much content so that we don't have to. They scour through hours and hours of the worst content on the internet, highlighting the lowlights that entertain us the most. They go by Kino Casino. Please welcome on Andy Worski and Ashton. I don't know your last name. Can hey! I just say PPP? Hey, fellas! Yeah, this PPP is fine. PPP. Or Ashton or whatever. Dude, yeah. this is legendary. We got you guys yes. on with the King A-Logs. Oh, the casino always it's wins. It's good to be on. It's good to be A-logging, buddy. It's tough, man. <laughs> we have to sit there and watch 25 hours of Ethan Ralph of a Ethan week, Ralph. buddy. <laughs> You know he's moved to like a rusted out old shack in Mexico. Dude, are you he's kidding? He's in like a hundred square foot shack. Ashton, wow. Ashton, I had to cut you off. That's why I really wanted to do this interview. I reached out to Andy a week ago because this is about a year anniversary to when we originally I came on your yes! show. I just, I just asked Ashton like it's been one year. Like, yeah, I whoa. went back in the DMs. I go January twelfth. It was of last year you came on the show. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and it was a memorable. What? Very good. Ralph, well, that's Ralph turned on you, right? That's when Ralph turned on well, you. Well, Ralph right? already turned on me. And you guys, let me tell you something because I keep up with Ralph through you guys. I love Ethan Ralph because he's in Mexico, because he's running away. He's on the Mexican Zannies. He's drinking the Mexican <laughs> yes. Coke, the Mexican torta. When Ralph eats that torta, I love it. And so do you guys. So tell me. I what love the a torta. <laughs> Stand up for the torta. This guy's actually trying to get people to give him like a thousand dollars to drive drunk to get a torta. <laughs> Five he, minutes away. He's like drinking and driving in a foreign country to get tourists. Well, well, three, that's what it's at now. Three days ago, no joke, he was doing ten dollar donations for Xanax. You've seen people. <laughs> no, right? he did. Wait, Andy, like, he had do Xanax. A shot of Jaeger they were for twenty dollars. <laughs> yes. yes, no, I swear I to swear, God, we're not exaggerating. We're not making this up. We're not he has bars of Xanax. He's like, every ten dollars, I'll do another bar at a restaurant. Yeah. He's just filming in some restaurant in Mexico. His just... family's nearby. Oh. And he's like, here we go. And he's got his margaritas going at the same time. He claims that it's impossible to overdose on Xanax. Yeah, right. <laughs> False. He claims it's impossible. Ethan, if you're watching can... this, Ethan, you can't overdose on Mexican Xannies. And I don't want you on him, Ethan, please, for the love of God. When Ethan was clean, did, did was he A-logging y'all a little? Or was he did he stick it to y'all a little bit when he lost about the 20 pounds? I think he gained it back. What did you guys think about uh, that? Yeah, I mean, listen, there was a period of time where there was a, a drought. The Ralphalo was once mighty upon the plains. There was much <laughs> content. And then suddenly the, Ra up. the Ralphalo went extinct. There was nothing left. He said, wake me up when, when Ralph's, Ralph's drunk, drunk again. again. And, and then he drank. He drank. And, and now it's just content. Flowed. Oh, my oh, God. By it's the way, been amazing these last couple weeks. I have covering some bad this news, guy. Alex. Uh, 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 Ralph is not watching. He's actually visiting his prostitute girlfriend in the most dangerous city in, in Mexico, Mexico right now. Where they execute cab drivers. Wait, what? I'm not even kidding. Wait, is he, did he take his Nissan truck to there? Did it? Where? I mean, how did he get there? Because you so, know, you, you guys, you know, I was at Guntapalooza. I was at the bowling alley. I've never seen more cigarettes. <laughs> you were? Yeah, when we got swatted, dude, it was epic. They had guns <laughs> out. People were, were people were alley. freaked out. I mean, people were like freaked out because of the cops. They were freaked out because they were tripping out on like methamphetamines and fentanyl. But like the cops really brought the vibe of the party. It definitely added a, you know, a lot of texture to the party, I guess you'd say. It made it a lot, yeah. a lot yeah, realer. Yeah, that's a little spice, a little spice. Well, well that's the one where he stomped that dude's head in. Yes, Arrest dude, him. and that's what I love. Dude, dude, a guy was on the ground and Ethan went over there and gave him a one, two extra kick. And I'm like, oh my God. That's when I knew Ethan I was like, oh, this guy is, he's kind of a rotten egg. Like, I like Ethan, I like her. <laughs> But when he did that, you know, because you hear the rumors, you know, like how he treats these women and all of the accusations and yeah. this and that. But until you see it in person, and Ethan, you know, listen, there, there he is right there. I'm telling you, he's, he curb stomped the guy like American History X style when the guy was down. I mean, it was one of the most insane cheap shots I've ever saw. But, you know, when you're Ethan, he's been cheap shotted so much. It's almost just, you know part of the, you know, whatever, the lore, the gunt lore, oh, right? Yeah. He's just trying to oh, defend yeah. himself at any yeah. possible. Well, he 
he's been beaten up twice in Portugal. Yeah. Remember, he was going to fly out to Portugal to sexually assault Andy's sister. That's what he said. He said, I'm going to rape Andy Woski's Wait, sister. Wait, shut up. Portugal. That's why he was actually going to okay. Portugal, Andy? I didn't realize that. that. I didn't know the said, gun lore. Yeah. All right, so watch yeah. this. Watch this. Okay, so when I... Okay, so before our show blew up or whatever, I was doing streams like to a, like a small amount of people. And if you move there, you could like, you know, I'll live off not uh, like no money at all. In Portugal. So I wanted to move there. In yeah, yeah, it's okay. easy. It's very cheap on the islands, right? That's awesome. So Ralph's like, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to, I'm going to go there first before you move there because you're a broke ass. Right. <laughs> uh, and then he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to, are yeah great he's like well great. yeah great great he's gonna okay, grape well, your sister, sister there so, so what ends up happening he yeah. goes there and he attend now allegedly i have to say allegedly yeah we're on. this is coming from his father-in-law harry morris yes who's ralph his, who's attempted his arch nemesis by the way people don't really know yes. they don't know all the gun lore but ralph and, and the reason why we say the gun lore is because Ralph has a bifurcated gun, which actually is kind of cool in yeah. a weird way, too. But he does have a bifurcated gun. <laughs> no, I mean, gun. you've never seen it's anything quite like it. Step it's right up and pay nothing to see the bifurcated gun. <laughs> Behold wonders beyond your wildest dreams. So allegedly, according to Harry Morris, from what I understand, he attempted to solicit underage prostitutes oh, in Negative Portugal. Flat. Negative flat. And the pimps beat him up there yeah. and fucking fractured his orbital bone, blackened both his eyes, sent him to the hospital because he was trying to... Because he was saying, the age of consent's only 14 in Portugal. Wait, shut up! Shut up! Wait, is that really some... true? Is that really the law? Is that the law in Portugal? Yeah. So I, it, it, it would, like, potentially try to know. press that law. Wait, what? Dude, my mind is this blown. Is, this is what he was trying to say or whatever. Um, he then proceeded a year later to try and have his redemption, he flew out to Portugal again. Again, yes. And then he was promptly beat up by a British welfare apes animal. Um, <laughs> and we there's know. This guy, Cog, there's show this the guy. Picture. The yes. next picture, we got Cog. There's Listen, this guy, Cog. Order. We got all the A-logs, guys. We got a list. And now we got a Cog down here. Now this is, they call so, Jobless Johnny, right? And jo he jobless Johnny, he has... No job. no job. And, and right, he, he got cuckolded he, on Christmas when his girlfriend wrecked his car. Or what is it? What? Yes. I, mean, I mean, who's worse? You know, you Alex, know all who's worse? Him or Ethan? You who's worse? By, by the way, he lived. I'm not even joking. In a uh, what do they call the those for the government council? He flat. lived in council, council, council flat, flat, flat with, with black was, mold with with the yes, toxic mold. The it was mold. the filthiest place you've ever chat, seen. Chat. He spray painted his floor black so it would it hide would, the would look hide of the mold. mold we're not even exaggerating like there's not even it's, it's so missing. grimy we're missing like pieces of lore it's hours and hours of of exploring <laughs> these these people <laughs> it really it's is insane but he now lives in the house of a amateur mma fighter Dan, who beat Dan, the one who beat Ralph, who yes. beat up Ralph on tape, and you could see Ralph's gun flapping in the wind. <laughs> it was very sad. So he's two times ass beaten in Portugal. That's something important to understand about the Ralph lore. But you know, he's also known for handing out ass whoopings to the women in his life. Yeah, pants too. No. Yeah, hey, but he got his that, ass beat by that girl that does daily movie reviews, who I like. Oh, you know that I'm yes, talking. Yes, he got his ass beat. Salad. salad. Well, do you know, not only did he get his ass beat by Mint Salad when he broke into her home and Listen, Ethan Ralph got his ass beat. The people don't know. We're talking about Ethan Ralph, a man, getting his ass beat by, like, a five-foot-four woman. Go ahead. Sorry. Yes, yes! A five-foot-four woman. <laughs> she just fed him, busted him up. He was bleeding everywhere. Now, years later, he just last week invited her on the show to yeah. apologize for breaking and entering into her home <laughs> and say she was a queen. So then, but, he's but making it right. 20 minutes of the 30 minute interview was muted. Yeah, so he tried so he was drunk. so drunk he can't even get yeah, he the didn't audio know to work. Work Okay, for his wait, guests. guys, guys, the chat is asking because some of my audience, the chat rats, is that what we call my chat? They don't know Ethan. Yeah. So do we have a clip, Brandon? Can we play one of the Ethan clips? Do we have one? Do you want to you wanna see him beat his wife? <laughs> Well, we, or do we want a more you, introductory you clip? I, I, introductory I'm not clip. sure which clip we have here. Let's play this clip. I pulled it All right, earlier. Let's play this one. Okay. Oh, yeah! 
Oh, this is when you guys have 2,000 viewers and he's pissed. It's only because I'm sniping it, by the way. Ralph's viewership? <laughs> 2,131 uh, times his viewership. Well, he only has one. It, oh, okay, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, this is you lied. Lied. You messed up your lie. This would still be 2,000. Remember, guys, let's get some subs for over 2,000 viewers. Spread only the word! Spread the word! The let's, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! can't afford candy. You buy! All right, so... That's you guys have 2,000 live viewers, and he's trying to say that since he's live streaming, well, whatever, you know, uh, a stream, a stream sniping. sniping. Again, I can't even say it. Yeah. Stream sniping you. He's saying that he's responsible for your 2K viewers. And, and he had 100 viewers. I'm saying, yeah. Andy, didn't you used to have a show? So, what is your relationship, real quick, with Ethan there? You guys had a show together? Because y'all were besties, no, right, at one point? Well, well, I would say besties. But no, we were pals, right? Yeah. Uh, when I did Warski Live back in the day, uh, I invited him on, and then we sort of like, you know, hung out back and forth. Da -da -da. When he did the kill stream, uh, when it was at like, it was still doing very well, I was like a co host. But then oh, okay, all this I stuff see. came. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, so oh. you were on his stream when it, because his stream used to be pretty popular, but now because he's yeah. kicked off everywhere, I mean, he can't get a foothold anywhere. I almost, you guys, do you feel sorry for, <laughs> for Ethan Ralph at all? No. <laughs> no. no. Now, listen, if it was anybody else, was you anybody would feel else. bad for him, but he's such a piece of shit. I mean, this he guy. backstabbed me, he backstabbed well, he, all the co hosts. He, he leaked your passport he online. So imagine this, right? Yeah. He You're said, he said, I faked out. my mom's death. He said, I faked, which yeah. I don't even care. I'm just saying, that's the most repugnant oh, yeah. thing. Like, I'm going to fake my mother's death. He said, I hired actors. Your buddy. That, that's insane, bro. That's insane. But imagine you're hanging out with your buddy, right? He go, starts rifling through your wallet, when taking pictures of your ID to blackmail you years later. So that's what he did with Andy. Yeah, like three, four years later, my password, he goes, hey, check this uh, forum website, right? We open it, my passport's just there. And I'm like, what? wait, so you held that for three years for the day that we were like like enemies? Dude. That's actually on him. And this is what bro. he does with every Everyone. single associate he's ever had. He made fun of one of his co-hosts' miscarriages. Mm. You know, this guy, he was crying his eyes out to Ralph. My wife had a miscarriage. We're so sad. Ralph recorded, recorded that. Recorded it and laughed at him and used it against him later that his wife had a miscarriage. He's a total scumbag. Every co The lowest of had. the low. Every Pay single some. person that he apparently has ever worked with is like either a pedophile or a rape. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, some of them actually did turn out to be pedophiles because he's not a very yeah, good yeah, judge. Yeah, there was one guy who... Uh, who actually was. But was for the most guy. part, he's full of shit when he smears his, you know, associates Everyone, from the yeah. past. Where it started to go downhill with Ralph and Andy was when Ralph decided he was going to impregnate an 18-year-old and he was going to film himself doing it. Yeah. So I don't know if you're aware of this. There is an Ethan Ralph sex tape. Negative the Memphis now, micro I'm, tape? The thumb up the butt tape? Yes, I've seen that. Yes, yes that's a very famous it. tape. I, yeah, that's I, my favorite I tape. I watch it every night before I go to bed. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> how do you I, think I... I, that's, I crank it. it to that Ethan Ralph tape. That's how I get <laughs> off. stop it. Yes. That's too uh, disgusting. Dude, that's what I, I look at, man. It's better than uh, porn out the Memphis Oh, buddy, no. So I've reviewed that frame by frame. Like the Zapruder it, film? Like, like the Zapruder yes, film? Like yes, like the Zapruder film. actually did, If yeah. anybody's ever heard of Kraut, the uh, famous skeptic liberal YouTuber, he's got like a million subs. He reviewed it frame by frame with me and another guy. He actually puked at the end. It was so disgusting <laughs> because in this tape, Ethan Ralph takes his thumb he inserts it into the 18-year-old's bum. He then proceeds to take out his shit-covered thumb, sniff it, and then lick, I'm not uh. even kidding, lick and eat the fecal matter from the thumb. <laughs> Better than a Mexican that... torta! Better than a Mexican uh, torta! Uh, it's on par with most Mexican food. You know, I had a torta yesterday. And I actually puked before the show. Andy can testify this. I was like, try, I'm like, I gotta eat this torta real quick. And you started buying tortas because we bought the torta as a joke. Because Ralph, Ralph tried to claim that in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, you can't get a torta. <laughs> yeah, now, Toronto is like, 
a metropolitan cosmopolitan <laughs> city of like six million people. With you can get anything. Every type of you can get to a metropolitan shirt. city with everything available. Yeah. Every like but African food, even the most play. obscure food, is available in Toronto. He yeah. thought he thought we didn't have steak here. No, he tried. Yeah. It was beyond that. He claimed that Canadians don't even know what barbecue is. He claimed that we don't have hamburgers or hot dogs in this country. Okay, okay, let me, let me call time out. Let me call time out, guys. We could just sit here and A log even all night, but I want to go through an A log list. Ready? Okay, so now we yes. got to get to this. Right. Okay. okay, okay, so now we got to get through my second of this. And I actually love this guy, and he just felted Ethan Ralph, speaking of the one, the only Boogie2988. Oh. Now, I mean, that's uh, right. <laughs> No, everybody needs to go watch your guys' coverage of his documentary. I was watching it on a Spirit Airlines flight. I thought the plane was going to crash. And while it was crashing down, I was laughing at your asses just watching this documentary. It was better than watching the actual documentary. So what do you guys the think? The last thing before stuff? you're yeah, going to die last... is you're like, better get on Kino Casino. Yeah. <laughs> what are they saying about Boogie? Oh, cool. I don't know what to think of that. That is our most viewed video, actually, on, on the, the clip, clip channel. channel. The Kino clip. It's yeah. crazy. This guy spent a quarter of a million dollars on prostitutes and wants us to feel sorry that he's poor. Yeah. Have you ever heard of anything so crazy in all your life? <laughs> no, but he ma actually he made a video saying he was rich for the rest of his life, dude. I mean, why? Yeah. Why, why would he, he was set up? Why would he make that video if he wasn't actually rich? Like, what a fucking liar! And then his girlfriend is sending naked pics. Is that true? Ethan said his girlfriend's uh, allegedly sending naked pics or feet pics I, or something. I, like I, I don't know for sure, but you actually. know what? I was I'll today. say it's true. I'll say sure. it's true. I mean, <laughs> I mean, don't you believe it? Like, yeah. The only fan. If it's she, an OnlyFans right? model. Like, yeah. what are we talking about I think here? So, right? Yeah, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Well, no, it's not OnlyFans. It's something called Fansly. like Fansly. 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 It's like a Fansly. We want to be totally know. factually <laughs> accurate about this matter. Or Cog will be mad. No, we make fun of him because every video he does, we actually covered him yesterday on our show on Kick, but. Every video is crying. Please cry for me. Please. It's like make videos, dude. Yeah. Like if you make videos, he, he works only three days a week, 10 minute videos each each day. And he, he cries. Where's the money? He refuses to live stream, even though he could make he potentially hundreds, if not thousands a week doing live streaming. He should. What he would Cog do? To... If, if Cog had one quarter of the amount of money that Boogie made, Cog would be a rich man, wouldn't he? I mean, he would be a living He high. would be. He would be. I mean, he'd yeah. be able to afford KFC. <laughs> Have you seen recently he's begging people for KFC money? No, Cog, that's Cog, the donation that goal is for a KFC a three piece. Is, the goal is for him to yes to get a three piece for him and his mail order bride. <laughs> yeah. So wait, is he it. still with his, the girl that cheated? Is he still with the girl that no, cheated? No, no, no. It, Listen so to this one. He he had to give up on pursuing English women or like women from a first world country. Negative class. So the guy whose house he now squats in, Dan. Got the one a, who beat up Ralph. The one who yeah. beat up Ralph yeah. got a mail order Indian bride, right? Like shipped okay, over. Yeah, yeah. Right? Shipped her over. It's a 90 day fiance marriage so, scam yes. deal. Yes. So guess yeah. what? He sets Cog up with the sister. No. Of his mail order. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Now yes. they get they get married. Do you know where they go for yes. the for the uh the reception after? For the, the pub, bridal meal, the, whatever the pub no, or what? I, that would no, be classier. Yeah. They went to Wendy's. Of they course, went to Wendy's. dude. They had the spicy of... chicken sandwich, dude. I don't know. That's not. Yeah. A... Now I'm back that Team was... Cog. Now I'm back to Team Cog. Uh, yeah, you know <laughs> what? What a wit. Well, do you know what Ralph did for his wedding with the wife who he beat up? We the... watched it on. on... Where did he go? He, he went to uh, so he went to he got Las Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to White Why Castle. Was? White Castle. He went to White Castle. He got the Crave case. Yeah. And he's eating the Crave case, and he, he's like, they're not even good, you know. So, so they're so the soggy, crepe. dude. They're so they're soggy. Gross. And that one in Las oh. Vegas, dude. The employees are all strung out on fentanyl. They don't even know how to make. It's not even like a white, you know, White Castle in like New York or something. It's just dog shit. <laughs> Everybody in there is just yeah. high and drunk as shit. They can't even taste what they're eating from that White Castle. Well, 
<laughs> That's the way White Castle always is. It's not really White Castle unless you're drunk and stoned. Yeah, it? that's true. Okay, now we got to get to some more people. Right. Gosh, we got so All many right. people. Okay, next. This is a guy that's come after me. I've had some beef with. Really, now I don't really care really? anymore. But this is why I brought you guys on to kind of kick the hornet's nest. This guy broke Alaska, you guys like to call him. So let's see a Whoa. picture of him. Yeah. Dude, no. what is the lore behind baked Alaska? And why do you guys well, like to tease this where, guy? Where so do you even well, begin? Okay. Here's one thing. So he used to be a BuzzFeed mm -hmm. journalist. The, the journalist, then switched over to like the, the alt, alt right. He was at Charlottesville. He got maced at Charlottesville. And one of my favorite <laughs> moments is him crying out to David Duke, the grand wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Dr. Duke, I need milk. I need milk, <laughs> Dr. Duke. He was Dr. saying Duke. that, Ashton, are you serious? He was and asking no, David serious. Duke, he's asking him David, for David milk. Duke, David Duke's got the milk and he's pouring it in his eyes. You're gonna be okay, son, oh, you're gonna be okay. And by the way, while he's covered in milk, so, he's like, what's my chat saying? What, no, what, he goes, <laughs> what are my people saying? My because people he was LARPing, saying? he was a white nationalist or whatever. So then he tries to say like white nationalism is evil, and he's his girlfriend because or well he claim, he blames he it on his girlfriend that didn't work out the left didn't want him, so he comes back and he comes back he gets maced at Charlottesville right so his new gimmick is he's like the maceler yeah he's like yeah. the villain like the Riddler but he just maces homeless people. <laughs> Yeah, so no, he, goes, he, he makes the, the bouncer, RV. right? And that's why he went to yes. jail. Yes. 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 So yes. He, he honestly maced probably a dozen people no, on no live joke. stream yeah. without getting arrested. But then he went into a bar in Arizona, caused the scene. The bouncer kicked him out, just dummied him out the door. Bake's ego is so hurt that he pulls out Mace. Instead of fighting the bouncer like a man, he pulls out Mace, maces the bouncer. The bouncer takes it like a boss. He just like stands there, all right. And Baked got three months no, in jail, and then, I think. And then <laughs> Baked looks at him, waits a second, shakes the mace again. And then Mace, and then him mace again. Him yeah. again. He's just such a piece of shit. And he's trying in court to say it's self-defense. It got to the point where Baked Alaska called in his mother to cry to the judge. Hey, don't they live in Alaska or something? Isn't that why he's called Baked Alaska? Well, so he did. He did. His family, oh. his family has. Home. They're very wealthy. Okay. They like run some sort of orphanage for Russian children. I don't know what that's all about. Amazing. But they have homes in Scottsdale, Arizona. They have a home in Alaska. I think they have a property in Florida as well. Mm. So they were letting well, Tim stay at their vacation yeah, home they over there. in Arizona for the longest time. That's besides the point. Yeah. Oh, but and then, and then, right? So we were all on this a site called D Live, and he was doing very well at that point, right? Yeah. Now, what happens? Well, he enters Nancy Pelosi's office on live Capitol, stream right? on after Charlottesville. After he survived Charlottesville after, somehow, he didn't learn his lesson. Like, so just now he doesn't learn at all. Films in there. Guess what? Anyone kind of to the right on D Live, which was like 20 of us. All lost our monetization. Well, everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody everyone did. I had a D Live funded. channel, I think, on January 6th, and mine, everybody did. Owen Benjamin. Okay, so it was me. Like, yeah, all right. Everybody there, yeah. did. Yeah, no, I remember I that. I lost my job for six months thanks to that bastard. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's who Baked the last one was. Broke, and now, man. but I mean, he snitched on everybody. He it, turned over his cell phone to the Well, we don't know that. This is all alleged. I no, just want to say well, this. Okay, we well, want to say alleged for it, legal reasons. He's allegedly, allegedly done but stuff. But I will say allegedly it is. He told Milo. Yeah, well, no, it allegedly. Is, I saw that interview. Yeah, it was all, but everything's alleged with Baked, but yeah, he's allegedly a snitch. Everything's alleged, yeah. but yes. I mean, he's allegedly a snitch, but the fact of the matter is in the court documents, he did turn over his devices. He yeah. did yeah. do that. Yeah. So, so that is there. That's something, I mean, and I'm sure he gave him the passwords. Allegedly, I don't know this. Allegedly, I'm just alleged. speculating, alleged. allegedly. It's all speculation. This, <laughs> at this point. Okay. Well, you know what's not speculation is his pal, Nick Fuentes, told Well, we got Nick. Hold on. Before we get to Nick, we're going to get to Nick. Right, okay, right, right, now we got Nick. Dude, let's go to Nick. Well, we but I don't want to skip Destiny or JF Epi. Remember, okay, so let's get to Nick. Oh, I had okay, Nick last. Okay, 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 okay. So, so why do you guys go after Nick? Because let's be honest, of all the people that you A-log, wouldn't you have to agree that Nick 
Vic is at least the most talented or the smartest, right? I mean, I know he does some whatever you guys oh. would say, sus, sus stuff you guys would say, but <laughs> of the of all of them. I, I think he is definitely the most talented at getting young men sent to prison. <laughs> I think he's the most talented at allowing young men to potentially be groomed under his watch by Ollie Alexander. Yeah. yeah. I'll give him that. You're right about I mean, are, you, are you aware? I can't are debate you, you on the Ali Alexander stuff. That's weird. Are you aware weird. of the Ali Alexander stuff? I'm, I'm stuff, pretty right? familiar. My buddy Tony Ortiz from Current Revolt, <laughs> share, I think he was the one that shared the actual Snapchat messages that the guy had from Ali Alexander. That This is all alleged, but they were uh, uh, yeah. eggplant emojis, and an eggplant emoji can only mean well, one thing. I, I mean, allegedly, so let's talk about there's two different victims that were part of America First. Yeah. Smiley was 15 years old when allegedly Ollie Alexander solicited dick pictures from this 15 year old in order to advance his political career. Ollie Alexander promised him political opportunities with his connections. Now, if you if the people don't know, Ollie Alexander was connected to Karl Rove. He used to work mm -hmm. for Karl Rove. Yeah. He, he was involved Highly in the Stop connected. the Steal stuff. Connected he with is everybody. a very, yeah. very, very yeah. well-connected person. He was on, uh, and so yeah. he offered these political connections to this young Groiper in exchange for dick pictures, which were sent. Oh, he sent him, the Groiper pic. sent him? So the Groiper's a little bit, uh, he's gay too, right? I mean, come and, on. I mean, and, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly to the guy that sent I mean, him. I, I mean, listen. Probably. He might have been gay. He says he's highly ashamed that he did this. Yes. He says he's not a homosexual. He says that, that yeah. this was the only way he felt he could get an entryway into politics. Ah. And this is a problem in politics. You know that this is a problem. Oh, yeah. People are blackmailed all the time into doing things so that the powers that be have control over them. I want to add one thing here. Uh, speaking about Ethan Ralph, Smiley went on Ethan Ralph's show well, and, and talked about the situation. The victim. Ethan Ralph, the victim that sent the dick pics the to, to <laughs> yeah, Allie, and, which is sus in that. Uh, that's and Ralph suspect. berated him, said, yeah. why would you do this? Sure, you were 15, but that's Oh, yeah, disgusting. I forget he's 15. 15. OK, well, then that's a little yeah. different. See, I, first, I thought he was 18. I, now that is no, a little 15. different. He was 15. Oh, he was well, a little no, kid. This, this, I didn't this realize that. This kid was that. 15 years oh, old. That's allegedly, another... allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Hi, allegedly. 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 Allegedly.
And you know Owen Schroyer went to prison for a, a lot very less good than friend that. of mine, Owen Schroyer. Yeah, a guy I respect yeah. you know, greatly. There yeah. were a lot of people who went to jail for a lot less than that. Nick Fuentes never charged. Just kind of funny, huh? That is a little, it raises some red flags. But at the same time, though, and this is the only reason I've met Nick, I've hung out with Nick uh, uh, twice, or maybe three times, actually. Every time I've hung yeah. out with him, he's actually been very nice. But there is something about Nick, too, that he's hiding. Just like everybody's hiding something, but I feel like Nick's hiding something a little more. I'm sure what you guys would say what he's hiding, but I don't know. I just, I just, you know, like whether he's, I don't think Nick's necessarily a fed, but I don't know. It is weird. Have how you heard about his latest scheme? So he's raised all this money to do ballot harvesting. He calls it ballot harvesting yeah, in stuff. the state of Georgia where and Arizona, where ballot harvesting is illegal. And one more state, too. Uh, Wait, and I think it was what? Michigan he's, as well. He's, he's really trying yeah. to get into ballot harvest in an illegal state? You got to be kidding me. Yeah. He's not yeah. that dumb. No, no, he literally, he literally state, stated this on his show. We called it out. We know he's seen our clips. I mean, I time. believe, in my opinion, Nick Fuentes honey potted a bunch of people on January 6th in his opinion. Oh, wow. uh, during the last election cycle. And we're going to see it again in 2024. Some sort of other stunt or ridiculous thing that gets a bunch of other young men sent to prison. Damn. So I just really warn young conservatives Be away careful. from this guy. Be careful. I, I, you know, because there are many guys who are in prison because of him. And there are many people who we don't even know. Milo Yiannopoulos says there are like 40 different accusers of Ali Alexander that he has, that he could have put on the record. That's So disgusting. who knows who how knows? many groipers that Ali Alexander might have had access to, might have sexually abused or groomed in allegedly, some way. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. It's all, it's all allegedly. of course. Okay, yeah. well, real quick, we're going to get to Nick because we're going to finish, even though we're talking about Nick. Now we got to get to my, uh, one of my enemies, Destiny. Yes. Destiny's got me okay. blocked. <laughs> and, and dude, wh why did this guy, he debated me on the kill stream for one of the most legendary debates, guys, on Ethan's yeah. show, where I said that he was getting cucked, he was the ultimate cuck, his wife is just taking loads from random guys off, in, off the internet that she meets. And the, the clips did great, but he blocked me, he hates me. So what is the deal with Destiny and why does he get 10,000 live? I mean, he has such a great audience, let's be real. Why does people even watch Destiny when he's such a cuckold that his wife just left him and made uh, I don't know. pay for her whole I apartment? I think, well, I mean, he what? reinforces people's worldview, right? Yeah, I that's mean, true. That's true. most people want to believe that things are just okay in the world, that the authorities that be, the establishment are fine. Destiny is a gatekeeper for the establishment, the established way of doing things, and people feel comforted by that. But I mean, there's also a lot of loser liberal beta cucks out there who identify with you destiny. Think it rules. They're to like the fuck other men. <laughs> well, you know, people want to, you know, follow people who are like them or people that they want to be. And there's a lot of people out there like destiny, and that's how he somehow has an audience. But he also said, you know, this guy couldn't even find the Israel on a map. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the other week. This guy's like absolutely clown shoes well, i mean we watched i watched last night ben shapiro just destroy this guy yeah i mean ben he, shapiro he just dog walked him yeah I it so. was embarrassing to watch for destiny in my opinion because destiny doesn't have any sort of real depth of knowledge he doesn't have any understanding of history or any understanding of anything really other than rhetoric how to twist an argument in a certain way to make it appear like you know what you're talking about when you don't. He talks really fast, and I'm sure, allegedly, he takes a lot of Adderall. But, allegedly. Um, yeah, I saw him post that does. he was looking for it on his Twitter. And doesn't he have, isn't his, like, 11-year-old son a Trump supporter or something? MAGA all the way? I mean, isn't <laughs> that, isn't that ultimate, true? That's the ultimate cuckening. I'll say this, though. The Destiny origin story of this cuckening is crazy. I don't know if yeah. you saw our episode on this. Yeah. Destiny actually started off by cucking this Yes, I saw this episode. Yeah, he's, he's on, on a live stream. Channel. Oh, everybody needs to go watch the Kino clip of this. You got to go to Kino Casino Clips and watch it's the so Destiny. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, There's this, just like, down um, a little, but you'll see it. It's you know, insane. this kind of, like, ugly beta guy. Swedish guy. Swedish guy. He's this Destiny fan. He's dating Melina. Yeah. And Destiny comes on his stream and just makes a move on his girlfriend. And it's, like, And pop. just actually cucks him. And you can even hear Destiny fucking his girlfriend in the, in the other room. The yeah, I in saw that. And the guy sets up the hotel it's thing. So yeah, bad. and you can hear him moaning. Oh, my. 
dude. Oh, it's so bad. I'm just telling people like, hey, open relationships are good. Done the on the whatever podcast, all these podcasts for years. You need an open relationship. It's amazing. And then this happened. Oh, well, who could have seen it who coming? Who could have seen it coming? Who could have seen it coming? Literally, Stevie Wonder could have seen it coming, but I think it's actually yeah, he can see. Real. I think he's faking his blindness a little bit. Okay, now we got a few other guys Bro. to get to. Speaking of a cuckening, allegedly, 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 I'm not talking about a sexual they resort. All be. alleged. Nick yeah, Rakita, the attorney, the online attorney. Oh, Nick. Oh. Yes. What do we think about Nick? Because he's suing. My buddy Monograph is suing Nick. Okay. And Nick and I have always kind of never really vibed, but it's because I'm to this guy monograph who's suing him so that's always always yeah i've always been Monty. skeptical of nick because that's of that crazy. look look so we started talking about him a logging him because so he just drinks every well he's drinking millisecond. himself to death because he's unhappy in his marriage is what's going on i'll say this alex I mean, real fast he inspired me to quit drinking <laughs> i'm 70 days 70 days sober off every substance because of nick like wow. the, i was like do I act like that when I'm drunk on the stream? And I just quit. And he inspires me daily. He's my motivation. He's my Eric Thomas to <laughs> yeah. stop drinking. Wow. Well, this whole Montegraf <laughs> thing, I'm not kidding. to me, is crazy. So Riketa calls Montegraf a child molester, I believe, like without months. any evidence. Montegraf then says to him, if you call me a child molester again, I will sue you. And then Riketa goes ahead and calls him a child molester again with no evidence. His source for this is, well, I heard Mr. Mediker say it on a live stream. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. Mediker is a notorious troll, you know? Yes, and he's full of shit all the time. Some, I mean, sometimes you just not can't. all the time. Well, listen, he's sometimes. right. He's right a lot of the time. Yeah, he is right. No, instance, Jim is right about this, something. I'm just saying, the guy, I mean, Jim says bullshit instance, stuff. I mean, yeah, I he mean, might have been clowning around, you know? So, but Riketa yeah. put his whole legal future in jeopardy over a Mr. Mediker comment on a live stream for which there's really no proof Why whatsoever. I don't know Why what the they... whole lore is with Riketa and yeah, Montegraff. No. I just think it's really funny. But Montegraff is, I think, represented by lawyers that mentored Riketa in the past. And no. this guy, oh, Schneider. No! And, so his and, old mentors are suing his ass, dude, because he's yes. stressed on stream about it. And, you can and, tell and he was he, stressed. He yeah. keeps shit-talking his old mentors for making him represent crackheads when he first <laughs> got to the office and all this stuff. And I'm just like, man, like this isn't very professional to shit talk these guys who got you started in yeah. the business and whatever. But the guy's drinking. Do you know he he put on a contraption called the Baldo? You know Are you Baldo aware is? of the yeah, Baldo, I, I, Alex? I've heard you guys talk about this, but I'm guessing it's an attachment that goes on your, but it goes on the testicles or the dick. I'm kind of confused it, on what it, it is. is. Put them on your balls. You sort of balls. stretch them and put them on your balls. There's two little holes in your. And it's you, like a you, cage that you put your ball yeah. sack in that turns your ball sack into a dildo. Yeah. So that you can then oh, dip so you your, can ball use your ball sack, sack as it. a sex toy? No! Yes, at your ball and sack way, as a like penetrative device on your woman. So hear this. Apparently, one of his like sometimes. This is all legit. This is all legit, and we're in well, Minecraft. We're talking about well, Minecraft. I mean, video I, games. I have a, a Minecraft video game. His <laughs> co host, Drexel, who Drexel. happens to be a black man, uh, you know, and a muscular black man. And that's you know, not a legend. Yeah. He is an African American. That's yes. the only thing not yeah. a legend yes. on the stream. Okay, Don't sue us, he, he, um, he left his baldo at Riketa's house the, wait, beside man. the bed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait so said this. Riketa said it on the show. He goes, Drexel left his baldo here. That's beside, so weird. Why this, would a friend leave a sex lady... I mean a sex toy near your bed? There's no there's I don't there's, know. There's, now there's... now here's the other story about Drexel we want to get in. So Drexel was dating this single mom who yeah. was in her 30s. She had a daughter who was 13. Now, Drexel dated this single mom for five years. This is all allegedly, of course. <laughs> Everything. But Everything we say is alleged. Allegedly when the daughter, the when the daughter of the single mom uh, turned 18, 
She expressed an interest in BDSM to Negative Drexel. Five. Negative five. And Drexel, on her 18th birthday, took her to a BDSM sex dungeon oh my and fucked the 18-year-old oh. who he was serving as a father figure to while dating her single mother. And then yelled at what? Nick he, sle he slept with his stepdaughter, basically, is what you're saying? That's yeah. disgusting. Wow. The day she and turned then, 18. And this, and is then, Nick, this is Nick's best friend? Yes. Yes. And Nick, right? So they hit his story on Nick's show. And Nick's fans, who he's courted as, you know, Christian conservatives, are like, what the fuck? And then he's like defending it. No, no, she wanted it. It's okay. Da da da. And Drexel's been uh, not on the show as much since that point. Well, what, wait, so, but Drexel was dating yeah. the mom at the time. So he was like, oh, he's just cheating on the yes. mom with her daughter and just trying to defend yeah, that. Yeah. What a scumbag. Yeah. Allegedly, wow. Yeah. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Okay, okay, we Did only have about five alleged... more minutes left of you guys. But actually, if okay. you guys can stay like seven more minutes and then I'll let you go. So now right, we got we got to talk about that. This is all alleged, but this guy, JF Garepi, Garepi, oh, and I've got to be careful. And I, I know, I debated JF. JF is crazy. And I, I debated him on whether systemic racism is real. And then we, we argued for an Alex. hour and a half and he said it wasn't. And then at the end of the debate, I go, systemic racism now is targeted towards white men. And he's like, well, you are right. So systemic racism is true. He actually agreed with me at the end of it. He just said it's a, a systemic racism towards white people, which of course he's gonna play the victim. My point is I beat him in a debate, self-admitted. Amazing. And, and now come to find out that his wife, who is mentally disabled, he let her go out in the woods and she's been missing since June and the, the Canadian press is looking for her. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Real fast, just for people who don't know, five, six years ago, I had a show with JF. You think he's crazy? I was I did a show with him for eight months. No! Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, Worski Live. Yeah, Worski Live, was, but JF was on it. See, I've seen Worski Live, but not, ever since the Kino, dude, the Kino is what I'm, that's my lore. I'm really- Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah, me and him were co-hosts for eight months. He was at my house. I he wouldn't proclaim house. this so loud. Yeah, I wouldn't friend. say no, this. No, to, he's allegedly, know, but, his wife uh, is missing for no. what, like five months, six months. I'm scared of him. I'm so of the guy. here's what we have to say. Mama JF, who is JF's wife, her name is uh Alora, Alora Patois or something. Alora. They call yeah. her the potato because she's like a potato. The potato. Right? Yeah. So she, she is, is developmentally she is developmentally disabled. Yes. She's clearly um like developmentally delayed. I don't want to say retarded, but that's Close. what she is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and she did, she did. <laughs> <laughs> JF has a history of being with women who are like this. Um, like three or four women. He's had because he says he women. just wants to mate, right, Ashton? What is it? That's what he, he's he, like. I just want to hold to mate with. I need to reproduce. In, insemination. So insemination. <laughs> so now what JF doesn't want people to know is he had children with Mama JF. And so it takes a real dark turn for me when he has children with her. And his story is, this is his official story. Mama JF wanted to leave him, wanted to live her own life. So he dropped her off in the woods and let her fend for herself. Yeah. Now she's developmentally delayed and the mother of your children. During the time that she's been missing, during which no family members heard from her, nobody's seen her since June of last year, JF made no effort to contact the authorities. Zero. He didn't care. And by the way, the first video. This is all by his own admission. This is all his own admission. Yeah. The first video that he made directly after this incident was him in a biohazard suit cleaning his house with bleach. No, that's not necessarily yeah, well, And he posted a picture of bones. <laughs> didn't he post a picture of a bunch of bones? Yeah. And well, then he, he also had, had a drywall changed <laughs> and changed his floor. He his did. House. He cleaned. He did clean the house. But that footage of him in the hazmat suit is from Oh, before. from the video. It from, was from, from, from like COVID. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. still, that, that is, still, the fact that he has access to that wait, suit says all we need to I, know. I, I know. Just the fact that I he know. has that. Like, it is at his disposal. Alex, Alex, I'm Alex, trying to true, be though. fair, but it's pretty but it bad. Is true. It is true, though, that he said that he cleaned, he, he, he in his deep words, cleaned, deep cleaned, dis, deeply disinfected deep the house, changed drywall, changed the floor. And then six months later, the police are like, 
Where's your wife? Huh. Mm. During our Halloween season, we had all these decorations. Ash well, it was the murder mystery of like the <laughs> yeah, decade. Yeah, it's still the murder <laughs> mystery. Guys, we're going to see it on Dateline NBC in two years. Watch. I'm I mean, you, this is going to be a true crime special in the making. Um, but, you know, we're supposed to believe JF claims that this developmentally disabled girl is, in his words, a double zero seven. She says and she travel over with the no, and no ID. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. She doesn't have an ID, she's credit able card, to anything. evade the federal police. Nobody can track her. He says she's, she's probably Jason on Gordon. a banana boat in Peru. But this is bullshit. No. Like, she didn't make it out of those woods. And Allegedly. even Allegedly, if even, yeah. even if he didn't actually murder her, I think it's gross negligence to leave a woman who can't take exactly. care of herself. Yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah. it's in That's the negligence. middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. And it's the mother of his children. By yeah, the way. he's a bad dad. Okay, I got to let you go. But before we go, I want to take a moment right. of silence for the one, the only, Gonzalo Lira, Coach Red Pill, oh, guys. Oh, rest in peace, Coach right. Red Pill. We love Coach Red Pill. Give us, can you guys say one quick thing about Coach Red Pill before we go? Rest in I, peace. I, he's I, in hell. There, there's one. <laughs> Coach Red Pill is one thing. Dead. Oh my God, you guys are sick. Okay. He needs to release Wilshire, Wilshire Boulevard. Boulevard. Oh, oh my God. Well, it's it's the not estate getting released must now. Release this book. Rest oh, in peace. No. All right. All hey, right, you guys are coach. awesome. Tell the people where they can find you guys. I know you're on Kick. We uh, put the link in the description. Us, uh, Kick.com slash Kino Casino Gaming. At Andy Worski on Twitter for him. At Power of the Truth on Twitter for me. And then Kino Casino Clips. Oh, yeah. that's how you... Uh, uh, One final thing. Ralph did beat his wife, Pantsu, for refusing to clean up his piss bottles. It's all on tape. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. See, but... but uh, of our clip channel on YouTube, uh, if you watch that, we put all the best segments over on YouTube and it has the links also to all of our content and how to watch us live. Okay, we do last question. Yeah, who's the, the king of the sector besides the casino? Who's the real king of the sector? Uh, it's still Gonzalo Lira. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow, Gonzalo I didn't Lira. expect Coach that. Coach Coins rising. Coach Coins always, always rising. rising. I don't even think he's really dead. That I think he'll return to us. <laughs> I sure yeah. hope so. Gonzalo, come back to Dallas. You got a spot on my show with the casino. You guys rock. Thank you guys for coming on. I'll talk to you guys Thanks, soon. Alex. You guys rule. Hopefully we'll do it again in right, less right. than a year. Yeah. Oh, right. seven, yeah. oh, seven to the casino. All right, what did you guys think about those two guys? These are, these are two wild and crazy guys. I know Ooh. you guys didn't even get a word in. I know. <laughs> wow. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.